And now, a commentary from Mumia Abu-Jamal. More lessons from Luzerne County, Pennsylvania. Recently, a piece was produced on the scandal in Pennsylvania's Luzerne County, where two judges pleaded guilty for playing their parts in a kickback scheme that netted them over two and a half million bucks. The beneficiaries of their hustle were private juvenile prison builders, owners, and investors. The losers were hundreds of Luzerne's children, kids who were treated like cattle as they were shuffled through so-called courts without counsel, where so-called judges sent them away from their parents, their siblings, and their fellow students to private prisons for profit. While the judges pleaded guilty to relatively minor charges, some other officials at the court, from county clerk to deputy court administrator, have followed the judges in plea agreements. What is remarkable is how effortlessly and easily these judges did their thing in violation of Pennsylvania's juvenile code with virtual impunity for almost a decade. The law provides alleged protections for children, including the right to counsel and the presumption that all kids should remain with their families. As a general rule, a child should not be detained unless she has posed a danger to others, their property, or herself. There are exceptions to this rule, and they were whether the child was charged with committing major felonies like robbery, rape, or murder. Rarely was this the case here. There was apparently another exception. When judges Mark Chiavarelli and senior judge Michael Conahan wanted to make some quick bucks, they were subject to a higher law, get money. What the Luzerne County scandal has shown us is what happens in many courts is both a business and a mystery. It also shows us that sometimes the criminal is sitting on the bench wearing a black robe. From death row, this is Mumia Abu Jamal. These commentaries are recorded by Noel Hanrahan of Prison Radio.